Hallo. Um, so the simple sort of exercise we've planned for you is to design the beginnings of a typeface. And I'll probably talk a little bit about what might be a good way to start. But the idea is that you're going to design something for signage. And you can choose one of three places that we've picked out. So it can either be signage for roads, or it could be signage for a historical monument, or it could be signage for a school. So that's the basic activity. And the letters that I want you to start designing are the letters in the word adhesion. So basically the letters E, D, H, E, S, I, O, N. And the reason I want you to design those letters and not the others is because they represent the English alphabet pretty well. So you have the O, which is the perfect round character. And in complete contrast, you have the I, which is you know, just a line. I'm guessing if you have an I, you can quite easily make an L. And a J will not be too hard. The next step is to put the O stuck to a vertical line, which gives you the D. If you have the D, you can draw the B, the P, and the Q. Then something which is an open bowl, which is the N. If you have the N, you can make the U and the M. And then you have the H, because it gives you another A sender. Because if you look at the English alphabet, most of it has these, you know, tall vertical lines. Then you have A and E, because they have the tiny counters, which won't happen in any other letter. So they are sort of outliers in some ways. And you have the S, because it's a really hard letter. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, I guess if you've drawn the I, I know that's quite simple. So yeah, the S, which is complicated. So if you have these, you could quickly expand to a lot of letters, if you have time. And you want to get to local languages. Exactly. In which case, like, pick a word or something. Or, like, do some letters. Even in that case, you could try and pick letters which are representative of shapes. So, you know, in... And how many of you actually understand Dave Nalpi? Enough of you that I can give an example. Uh, so, if you look at the letters, the... Like, I could draw them. So you have the T, and you have the T, and the D, and the D. I mean, if you're designing something in Devanagari, don't just design these five letters, just pick one, <laughs> is what I mean to say. So if you're going to do there's a bunch of letters which look similar, just pick one and design that, as opposed to designing all of them. Because if you have one, the rest are easy, pick another shape. So you know you know how your design basically works on different shapes. Patterns. Yeah, exactly. Like look at shape patterns and pick representative letters. If you do anything, for Latin adhesion, should work just fine. Cool, so get started. We have about 45 minutes to design. We'll try and get you more sheets and pens. Thank you.